Yeah, so I'm going through my vlogs, giving them titles, filling them full of tags, trying what I, I may, and just kind of back up and do ten of them. I'm on number three. Lovely day out here in Concord, California. Happiness is a choice. So said Shay Carl. I'm trying to remember that, Shay. Carl. First, foiled again. I love that. That's, that's the research we did. Well, I don't know how shy I am in public or anything, but um, I'm trying to do this to searching for some sort of outlet or something and seeing if vlogging every day can help. I don't think it's hurting. It's certainly making me think long and hard about what is this better? Right. It's certainly making me think long and hard about and you know, not putting embarrassing things up, just thinking about thinking before you makes you a better editor when you're sitting there going through the little the bits of footage and stuff and you're just like, you know, it's really I mean <laughs> this is people's impression, you know, so impression of me, so you gotta you know, the less dumb you look. <laughs> so I'll cut this part out. <laughs> so so I stopped it before Diana finished her thought actually and, and she was saying how still vlog in public, that's the way to get over your social anxiety. I could that seems you know, like it might be not an overnight cure or anything, but I think it could certainly help. I don't know. I don't know if it's, you know, vlogging in public is definitely different than, uh, you know, getting up in front of a room of 300 people and giving a speech. Reading about metadata and uh, YouTube and better search results and Google algorithms and things like that. Because if you don't put anything in there, no one knows your video is there. Won't find it. It won't be found. Hey, what do we have right over here? Hi, dear. Oh, it's a good deer. Good deer. How are you? Yeah? They're only so brave, and you freak them out, and they bolt. Sorry, Mr. Deer. Hi. Does that mean? A little bit. A little mean. A little mean. I'm thinking about uh, taking these walks and turning into the old folks, and they always think, say hi. They feel like obligated. Whereas nowadays, I don't know, people, they don't say hi randomly. Well, well, that's I guess it's different. If, it, if you're out walking, you see someone else is out walking yeah, for exercise, you have that in common, I suppose. You say, hey, hi. Whereas, you know, if you're just saying hi to random people in the mall, you know, that guy's weird. Yeah. Facebook is saying that they're losing out on the young, you know, the tweens or the teens or whatever. How young can you be? And, uh, you know, is, is it even going to be around? I don't know, man. It's a behemoth. And I think it's going to be a long time before it's so uncool that no one uses it. Um, that'll be a while. You know, because grandmothers are using it. And kids, and it's a way for kids to stay in touch with grandma. So, but you're going to delete it just because your friends say, oh, that's not cool. You should be on Instagram. Or Vine. 
I need to get an Instagram. That's the marshal. This little dog cruising around. That's kind of a cushy job, isn't it? Just being a cop on a golf course. Suburban, that's like really old word, I think. You know, Latin or something like that, right? It's a thousand year old word. Let's look into that. The word is derived from the old French suburb, which is in turn derived from the Latin suburbium. Formed from sub, meaning under an herb city. In ancient Rome, wealthy and important people tended to live on the hills of the city while poor citizens lived at lower elevations, hence under the city. Gold rush. It's stupid because they never get any gold. And you kind of there, the producer's probably hoping. Look what we got here. Turkey team. Hi guys. Now this is gold. Turkey in the tree. So yeah, it's just like you kind of think they're going to get gold or something. They never get gold. It just seems to be the same mining. I know, no gold. That big guy. Uh, it's just uh, it's agonizing. And they do the same damn stuff. So it's just like over and over again. Wash, rinse, repeat. And they never get anywhere. We've got babies. It's okay, babies. All right. Yeah, and then mom, she's right there. Mom's not far. All right, bye guys. Yeah, big day. Lots of deer, lots of turkeys, quail, turkey and quail.